So here is our PR3, three-step strategic process for the PTE describe image task. What is strategy two? Use appropriate statistical terminology to describe bars or sections and their values in pie charts and bar charts and to define movements or trends in line graphs. Use a diverse set of linguistic terms when describing pictures. Now strategy two is of course using your vocabulary and your knowledge of the subject to describe it in as, in a, as, an, in as an accurate attempt as you can using the terminology that we have previously discussed. So you want to be quite academic and quite formal. It is important to use appropriate vocabulary to describe statistical information. We've used some of this vocabulary previously in this video when we were looking at the different word, uh, the different verbs and adverbial phrases that we can use to describe. How can we now incorporate that into our response to make it a little bit more varied? Well, remember, our movements to go up include rose, grew, increased, went up. Now you will notice that these verbs are in the past format, in the past simple format. Why is that? Well, often in this task, you will have to talk about a statistical information which was conducted in the past, and it will often be labeled in terms of when it was conducted. So because that chart information was acquired in the past, we want to talk about it as if it was in the past. So keep that in mind whenever you're looking at your response. When was the chart published? If it was in the past, you will need to talk about it like it's in the past. So rise becomes rose, grow becomes grew, increase becomes increased, and go up becomes went up. Movements down, likewise in the past. Decreased, declined, dropped, went down. Decreased, declined, dropped, went down. Our adjectives include gradual, sharp, slight, steady, sudden. Gradual, sharp, slight, steady, sudden. Our adverbial phrases, slightly, gradually, sharply, suddenly, steadily. Slightly, gradually, sharply, suddenly, steadily. Now remember, most of these adverbial phrases will include ly at the end of the adjective to make it the adverbial phrase. Likewise, if there was no movement in the chart, we can use these following phrases, including remain steady, stable, was unchanged, stabilized. Remain steady, stable, was unchanged, stabilized. And then finally, think about the prepositions we can use when talking about um, the flow of the chart, how the information progressed. We can say, for example, from between week one, two, and week six. So we have from and between, two, and and for our response here. So can you make any sentences to describe the graph with any of these phrases that we have used? Between weeks 0 and 15, the amount of songs of songs purchased remained steady with little increase. Here's one example. Between weeks 0 and 15, the amount of songs of songs purchased remained steady with little increase. If we refer back to our graph, we've used the verb remain and we've used the term steady to um, refer to the flat line in the graph which has referred. So we've used some of the vocabulary and you'll get extra points with that. What about a second example? There was a slight rise in songs purchased between weeks 30 and 60. If you think about our trend at the start, it started off quite flat and then it started to increase a little bit. We could use the phrase slight rise. There was a slight rise in songs purchased between weeks 30 and 60. Another example, between weeks 135 and 150, the rate of purchase songs increased sharply. The massive increase, it purchased sharply. Uh, sorry, it increased sharply. So there are many, many different combinations we can use some of these verb phrases. Here are three for you. Remain steady, slight rise, increased sharply. If you think about our second example, we have the uh, auxiliary verb was. So if you have the auxiliary verb was, then we don't have to use the past form of the main verb. That's why slight remains slight and doesn't become uh, a slight rise, for example, or slightly rose in that terms. Okay. Mm -hmm.